I'm Mel McMahon with Naptown Buds sitting down with Marco Andretti at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Now, Marco, the month of May has its ups and it has its downs, but what has been your favorite moment so far this year? Um, I think our, my favorite moment has to be that, uh, that this car has been fast every day. And one thing that you, as a driver, you have to be mentally prepared for at Indy th through the month and the few weeks that we're here is that you can be on top of the world one day and roll off the next day with the same car and it's not the same. But we've been able to, 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 to be the team to beat the entire month. And that just, and each and every day that you're able to do that, it gives you that, that more, that little bit of confidence. And so um, I think just that, that we're able to be the team to beat each and every day has been, it's been great. Now one of the things that we do at Naptown Buzz is we send out tweets asking our followers for questions that they really want answers to. Are you ready? Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Some of them are simple, like this one. What's your favorite restaurant in Indianapolis? Um, say no more. It's a give. That's a good choice. What is the one question you are sick of answering? Does it give you added pressure having the father and grandfather? Um, <laughs> you know, obviously that's the go-to question for a lot of people, and I understand why, obviously. But um, I believe at this level, you uh, you know, you have to be, you have to have the mindset of. You want to win because you want to win, not because they want to win. And, uh, and that's that's the case with me. So is your dad famous or something? Or grandfather <laughs> famous? I mean, I don't know. That's, that's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite racing video game? Uh, I purposely have to restrain myself from playing because I will literally not sleep. I'm so competitive. <laughs> um, I have a funny story. Actually, a buddy of mine actually... Uh, we had, there's like this ghost car, we were doing qualifying time trials, I think it was like Gran Turismo or something. And uh, and he, I went to bed and, and, and he had beaten me and I, and I couldn't sleep. So I came back, I'm like, there's no way, I gotta beat you. And I found out the next morning that he just loaded the number one ghost car, it wasn't even him that drove it. So, <laughs> so since then I'm like, alright, I'm, I'm too obsessive over this. Nice. And our final question, what's the most interesting thing you've ever autographed? Oh man, um, probably hmm, interesting. Weird, crazy, awkward. Um, man, there's there's a lot of. I mean, probably I don't know. It's, it's it, it makes me feel weird signing like a prosthetic leg or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll still do it for the fans, right? Oh, you're done, right? They, yeah. That's what they want. I don't like signing kids' foreheads, especially if their parents don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, duly noted, and hopefully our Naptown Buzz listeners will note that as well. So thanks so much for your time today, and good luck on Sunday. Thank you. Thanks for having me.